Hey, what's up everyone? Veronica Wang here. Today we're going to be eating at this Korean barbecue restaurant. Today we're going to be exploring Toronto. But let's take a look at this menu that we have right here. We're only going to be having a couple of menu items today. As you guys know, I'm on a bit of a diet. So we're only going to order mm, four things. <laughs> Today we're gonna to be getting the cheese bulldog, which I'm really excited to try. I haven't tried it here. I've been to this restaurant. It's amazing, but I haven't tried this menu item, so I'm really excited to try it. And then we're also gonna be getting the cheese balls, which I had those in Korea. It's more catered to the Eastern standard taste bud in Korea, so I didn't really like it. There are a couple just like aftertaste and flavors that I didn't really find appealing, but this restaurant, I feel like it definitely caters more to the Western palate. We are in Canada, in Toronto, specifically North York, just south of Steeles on Young. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be having this one today. It's super delicious. I'm really excited to eat it again. I ordered two orders of it, so that should be enough. Okay, over here I have a soy garlic chicken over rice with egg and some mayo on top. And this is very breakfasty to me with the eggs at the side. Anything with scrambled eggs at the side, it always screams breakfast to me. And it's basically breakfast time, so let's dig in. Okay, I, so there's onion. Oh, I feel like I should go for the soy fried chicken first, right? So this place is, ooh, whoopsies. This place is known for their fried chicken, so I'm really excited to have this. Typically, I don't put mayo on my fried chicken, but it's a very, like, Japanese. We say it's more Japanese or Korean thing to do. More Japanese, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's nothing done to the onions, it's just raw. Actually, yeah, after I took a bite out of it, I realized there is a raw onion taste to it. Mm. I don't typically, like, if I see something like this on the menu, I won't usually order it. Just because it seems like a lot, but it's so good. The combination of sweet and fatty because the mayo is super, super, super delicious. And you can never go wrong with carbs. This is, wow, I'm really excited for this. It's on a hot plate, so definitely don't touch the cast iron because you're gonna, Mary knows, you're, Isabel, you're gonna burn your fingers off. They gave me extra cheese for this, and did they ever give me extra cheese? Oh, oh, it's still so hot. You see how much that cheese melts? Oh my. So the first smell of it, it smells so similar to the Samyang spicy noodle sauce, but once you get into it, you can tell it's different, but it's so similar. <laughs> They're gonna have to tell me their secret recipe. <laughs> it's so, the chicken is super tender. This is the highest spice level on the menu, rightfully so. It's really mm. hot, but it's so delicious. I can't stop eating it. You get that really nice smell from the mozzarella cheese. And that sweetness from the carrots really nice. Mm. There's some cabbage in here. Mm. This fire sauce is so good. It's really hot. Woo. Yeah, pretty hot. Wow. This is like the best thing ever.
Mm. So our order came in of the cheese balls. These ones are really good. They're super creamy. The batter is perfect. Super crispy, but still stretchy. And the texture of the actual dough, it's almost like a little donut, to be honest with you. Like a savory, cheesy donut. Oh. I think this is good. I feel like if you're to come here, definitely get their fried chicken. The fried chicken is really, really good. All in all, this food is absolutely delicious. This is something I wouldn't typically order, but I found this really appetizing, really filling, really good. Really good, really filling, really amazing. Really, 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 really. It's really great. The honey, the soy honey garlic is super delicious. The fried chicken is cooked perfectly. The skin is still super crispy. The rice is cooked perfectly. The eggs are delicious. And all together, it smothered with some mayo, onions. It's honestly very good. I really enjoy this. And this is something I wouldn't typically order and I still loved it, so I think that's a plus. For this chicken, this has to be my favorite thing on the menu. I've had the fried chicken, I like the fried chicken, but I think I would specifically, honestly, come here for not only this guy, but for these ones, the cheese balls. You can't find these often in Toronto. This place, you can find them here, besides like the frozen section at Galleria, which is our Korean market here. Uh, besides them, you know, you can, you, can pop, you can purchase the frozen cheese balls and fry them up yourself at home. But if you wanna go out, this is definitely the place to go. You can get the cheese balls here. They're super delicious, but this, Bulldog, this cheese bulldog is my favorite. It is so reminiscent of the Sam Young spicy noodles. Fire sauce, but better. It's honestly, like Isabel, camera girl was saying, it's literally the spicy noodles with cheese on it, except without the carb. So if you're looking for something fatty, delicious, and fiery, this is the one. It is so delicious. It's my favorite. With the combination of the carrots, the cabbage, must get the extra cheese with it. The extra cheese is honestly a must. It's just all around really great. I absolutely love it. So thanks guys so much for coming out with me to this restaurant to try some food. We're going to be going to a bunch of other restaurants. If you're from Toronto and you know a couple spots that you want me to check out, please link it down below. Of course, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, bye. Like, comment, subscribe.